Nature's <laughs> going to wash your car today and tomorrow. So that's going to help with the pollen. It's going to wash some of that pollen away, at least for a little while. Here's what we look like from our Children's of Alabama camera. We've got clouds around to get you started. We did have some rain overnight in some spots, but uh, that area of rain is now pushing into Georgia. More on the way, though. You can see uh, quite a bit of rain and thunder over parts of Mississippi. That is headed in our direction. That will keep scattered showers likely at times today. On the radar, and at this point, we really don't have much going on. There are a few sprinkles here or there, but most folks are dry for the morning commute. Here's where your temperatures are. We are in the 50s to get you started, and this is a similar feel to yesterday. By the afternoon, pretty wide range in those temperatures. We're going to be anywhere from the 50s north to near 70 degrees south, especially where we have that better rain coverage today. That's going to help to keep us cooler along into the north of I-20, forecasting a high in Birmingham of 62. Yesterday, we saw a high of 71, so we are going to be even cooler than yesterday. This is about 20 degrees cooler than where we were earlier this week when we had highs in the 80s. So let's time out the rest of the day. This is the future view. This is what a computer model thinks the radar is going to look look like by 9 a.m. Some of that rain starts moving in from Mississippi, impacting our northernmost communities, especially along into the north of I-20 is where we'll have the best rain coverage today. Embedded within uh, this area of rain and thunder, we'll have to watch for a storm or two that can produce some hail. Uh, overall severe threat, very, very low, but we'll keep an eye on things. Moving towards the later part of the uh, afternoon and early evening, keeping rain likely during the evening commute. And then we will likely have rain around to start the day tomorrow, but a clearing trend is expected by the afternoon. And then we get sunshine on Saturday. So if you have weekend plans, Saturday looks to be your day. Showers and storms return to the forecast, especially by Sunday afternoon. Uh, and we are looking at the possibility of a little bit of instability around. So that means uh, there is a low end chance to see a strong storm or two Sunday afternoon and evening. So far, the Storm Prediction Center has not yet included us in any type of risk, uh, but we'll keep a close eye on it in the coming days. Birmingham Legion FC has their home opener this Saturday evening, and we'll have some clouds around, but Saturday is going to be the dry day this weekend. So perfect weather for that. We've got temperatures in the 50s throughout that match. So if you're headed out for that, looking good. Here's what the next 10 days look like. Today we will see a high in the 60s. Tomorrow we are also in the 60s with rain hanging with us the first half of the day, drying through the second half. Saturday is beautiful. Don't forget to set those clocks forward before you go to bed Saturday night and also be sure to change the batteries in your smoke detectors and your NOAA weather radio. On Sunday we will likely have some thunderstorms around and we'll keep in a close eye on We'll have more details in the coming days on whether or not we can expect a strong storm or two during the afternoon and evening. But what looks very likely as much colder air next week, dropping our lows below the freezing mark both Tuesday and Wednesday morning.